Hello Lego fans, it's Bricks on Budget with another video. I figured I'd do a quick review of the Millennium Falcon Holiday Diorama, set number 40658, 282 pieces, retails for $29.99. Uh, right now, I believe you can only get this on lego.com. I don't know if it's still available or if they uh, ran out or if it's on back order. Uh, I got this pretty early on, basically the day it came out. So um, that being said, I, actually, I think you get this in Lego stores as well. So I'm pretty sure. So there's that too. Yeah. Uh, I would so strongly recommend if you are a Star Wars fan or just like Christmas in general to get this set, even if you decide to just get it to have it. Because these set, this set's going to retire probably at the end of this year. And we might not see it again. That being said, it's going to have a short shelf life. And I think the price is just going to go up in the aftermarket. So this might be a good set to invest in. Uh, so um, right off the bat, you have a very nice scene. The scene is supposed to be uh, on the Millennium Falcon. Uh, hence the name of the set. And uh, basically, you have the uh, famous couch with the chessboard. And that, now, I hate to get into complaints too early on, but my only complaint with this set is I wish it came with the actual uh, shield piece for the chest, uh, um, the chest table. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, that's literally my only complaint. I love this set. Uh, it's it's very small, very compact, um, but it's got a lot of really cool little details in it. Let's go over the minifigures real quick. Now, the minifigures aren't anything we haven't seen before. Okay, so you see Ray here. She's got the life book. All these are printed, all the pieces that... that are, are printed too which is nice so there's no stickers in this set not that there really needs to be anyhow um, so even this uh, book here is a printed piece uh, and then you got Ray she's got an ugly sweater on and it's got the Millennium Falcon on it so that's pretty cool to get also I think this diorama um, overall uh, is very cool as a display piece for the minifigures and if you have other uh, minifigures from Star Wars you could possibly put them on here as well uh, of course there's limited room so you can only put so many on here uh, standard Chewbacca you know nothing to uh, you know, uh, you got a standard BB-8. Now, what you could do if you don't have the Christmas BB-8, you could probably put a Santa hat right here on the stud on top to dress him up to make him look a little bit more Christmassy, if you will. You get a standard Porg, which is always awesome. And all the porgs are brick built, except for the head is printed. You know, but very, very cute. I love the little noises they make in the movie. And then, oops, his hair is a little sideways. Boop, there we go. And then you got Finn. And he's got his rebel sweater on ugly Christmas sweater so that's pretty cool he's got a very cool uh, printed uh, leg print as well Oop. everybody's gonna fall over that's all right so you have a nice display here you got the table with the drink the turkey the carrot uh, this tree at first looked very simplistic and for the most part it is but uh, once I built it 
it just works. Um, that way it doesn't take up a lot of space. Yet, I mean, it works for what it is. It looks nice. It's got the nice snowflake on top. Also, they have a snowflake on the wall back here to decorate. And they have this nice little string where they turn around and use to turn on, put these little clips and put the different colored uh, stud, uh, transclear studs to make lights. That also works very nicely. Right here, you got a bed. You got two lightsabers and you got a clips to store them for Finn and Ray, which is also nice. Uh, I really like the floor design between you have the, uh, the hopper two by twos and then you have all these grills to make kind of a pattern. Uh, very simple, but very effective and it looks very nice. But my favorite part of the entire diorama. Well, I don't know about my favorite. I mean, it's hard to pick just one favorite, but I really like the door build with all these um, tan uh, wedge pieces and uh, or two by yeah two by one wedge or um, and then you got these uh, tan um, tile and uh, it just goes all the way around and uh, it definitely looks like a doorway in the Millennium Falcon which is also very nice That's kind of like the back end. That doesn't look too bad. This right here looks a little messy, but um, you're not really going to look at it from that end very often. Like I said, it it's so crazy because like from this angle, you can kind you you still see the bed, but they built it in there in such a way it's just like oh it's like. Um, I didn't even realize it was a bed until I happened to start. We started building the set, and then um, I think I had the box turned around or something. And then it's like, oh, there's that's a bed there. It's like, oh, that's so weird. Um, but yeah, then you got a couple little Christmas decorations there and stuff. But like I said, you can potentially, if you have like advent calendar. Um, Star Wars figures besides like I said you're limited to this space available but you know you could put some of your favorite Star Wars Christmas advent calendar figures on here along with these guys as well and by the way this this is actually based off of a movie called called Star Wars Life Day I believe it's called um, so that's also another cool thing to note technically it's Christmas but they don't call it Christmas. They call it Life Day. So, yeah. It's very, very cool. Well, like I said, it's $30 uh, price per part, you know, but I don't really look at it that way. It's a little, it's just over the threshold. So, it's not that bad of, bad of a set for the price it's at. And like I said, um, for anybody investing, uh, I'm not an investing person myself, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But I think this set is going to sell well in the aftermarket when it retires. And I think this is going to be gone after this year. <clears throat> I mean, it, it, it's, it's a very nice set. It's very nicely built. It's very affordable. And uh, it comes with some awesome minifigures, awesome um, ugly sweaters. Uh, it's just uh, hands down. Uh, you know, I think this is cool. I want, I, I hope that we see more, um, little Christmas vignettes like this in the future. Um, hopefully, you know, in Star Wars and other sets, it would be very cool to see, uh, stuff like this continues. So that way you can have like several like displays to display your, your advent, um, Christmas minifigures on would be cool. And they could do other franchises as well, like maybe Harry Potter and other sets, uh, other uh, different um, franchises as well might be a plus too. So, 
Well, I've babbled on long enough, and I think you get the point. And uh, yeah, so like I said, if you didn't get this already, I strongly recommend picking this up. It's very cool. I, I it's an enjoyable build. Um, also, you know, I would strongly recommend maybe even picking up an extra one or two of these to put away uh, as an investment, honestly, because I think this set is probably going to go up in value almost definitely. Uh, if it doesn't, I'd be very surprised because there's going to be a lot of people that him and haw about this set. And then later on, they're going to want it. Or maybe some people won't even know about it until it's too late. And then you're going to have extras that you can turn around and sell and get a little bit of a profit off of. So at any rate, this is Bricks on a Budget. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for future notifications. And I will catch you in another video. This is Bricks on a Budget, Tanya. Get built. Thanks, guys. Bye.